About one year ago, a friend of mine showed me his GPU mining rig and your boy was mesmerized. Not only do a couple of lined up GPUs look super sweet, but I was also impressed by how much heat it radiates. This got backboard and your boy thinking, I could build a mining rig, make money while mining Ethereum, while heating my apartment. So that's exactly what I tried. Did I become a multi-trillionaire or whether I financially ruined myself? More about that. More about that in this very YouTube video. How exciting. <laughs> Got some gross habibis, it's your boy. And this channel is all about transporting eggs. Uploading once a year. Fitness, but mostly some random DIY project I'm currently working on. But today's video is a little bit different because we are talking about money. <laughs> And thus, I think I owe you a little bit of a disclaimer. If this doesn't interest you, skip ahead. But I'm gonna give myself two minutes so you can judge my biases. All right, here we go. I'm only interested in and care about Bitcoin. I don't really care about Ethereum. I think Bitcoin is on a completely different power level than any other cryptocurrency out there. Because I think it's the only properly decentralized system, thereby being the only one with a credible promise of digital scarcity. And I think it attempts to solve the most important goal of all of them, which is to create an apolitical, uncensorable, sound monetary system for anyone. But Freezy, why didn't you mine Bitcoin then? Because mining at the room seemed more lucrative, fun, sexy and quiet. By the way, I don't have any aversion towards Ethereum. In fact, Ethereum has been my best performing investment ever. I had my sh** in face back in 2018. This dude bought Substratum for 130 in 2018 and diamond handed that thing down to like 7 cents. As of today, my portfolio consists of about 20% stocks, 5% Ethereum and 75% Bitcoin. Not financial advice. Which should tell you that I'm probably kind of biased. And I want to address something else. The Bitcoin network consumes lots of electricity. As much electricity as Poland. We need to get rid of Poland. And the power hungry element is mining. I know that mining is quite abstract, but to sum up briefly what it does, it calculates hash functions, cryptographically connecting the transactions of the Bitcoin network, thereby creating an unmanipulatable transaction history. That's the genius of mining. It connects the digital space and the real world with the one resource that's scarce in both spaces, which is energy. In my humble and irrelevant opinion, there is no adequate substitute for mining. And you know what's really epic? Bitcoin mining with vented methane. In the USA, there are hundreds of landfills emitting methane straight into the atmosphere. And landfill miners harvest the methane to power a mining facility. How freaking amazing is this? Reducing methane emission while helping to secure a global payment network that gives sovereignty over their money and property rights to every person on the planet. That's so freaking amazing. And there is an increasing amount of ways to utilize the unique features of Bitcoin mining like a Bitcoin water heater or companies like Gridless that support the local energy development in rural Africa. Yeah, you get the idea. I find this stuff <laughs> super epic. I'm gonna calm down now and we're gonna start with the actual video. Let's go. So this is the first big bulk of stuff I bought. I didn't buy everything at once. It was an incremental progression of buying stuff on eBay Kleinanzeigen, which is basically German Craigslist, which put me at a whopping 6,265 euro, which is far too expensive for such a rig. But hey, it had to be done. So I wanted to build a neat looking aluminium frame for the mining rig. And the rig is supposed to look something like this. So it's time to build the frame. Let's go! Wenn ich glaube, ich habe mich finanziell ruiniert. Damit will ich dann im Winter meine Bude beheizen, dann spare ich mir das Gas. So, was brauchen wir denn hier? 310 mm. These are the 3D printed brackets to keep everything in place. It's time to hook up the first GPU. This thing is a freaking unit. The GPU was so massive I had to restructure the frame.
We take this beauty. Mm, sheesh! Your boy had to install the operating system and do all the software stuff, which was pretty annoying. But eventually... BAM! Geil and scheiße, Alter. First time starting the rig with a new mainboard, completely assembled and hooked up by myself. I gotta shop this thing. Let's go. Let me first put things into perspective. In March 2020, there was this savage Rona crash. In the face of the crisis, stocks, cryptocurrency, even gold, everything got freaking wrecked. Bitcoin and Ethereum dropped both by about 50%, which was absolutely brutal. <laughs> Bagbot, kannst du dich daran noch erinnern? Das war wirklich brutal. <laughs> I immediately grabbed the remaining cash I had to buy those sweet Bitcoin. After the Rona crash, Bitcoin and Ethereum had these insane rallies with Ethereum going from $80 to over $4,000. And that's when your boy finally had everything assembled and started mining. 0.01 euros. Let's freaking go. After the first couple of weeks of mining, I had my first almost 0.01 Bitcoin being worth about 550 bucks. But Freezy, didn't you say you were mining Ethereum? Why are you receiving Bitcoin? Excellent question. I am mining Ethereum, but the provider I use pays the mining reward in Bitcoin. So it was finally time to sell. This is when I encountered a bit of a problem. Because as my finger was hovering above the sell button, I realized I'm physically incapable of selling Bitcoin. I can't do it. It's too valuable. I want to keep them. I can't sell them. Why would I sell freaking Satoshis for freaking euros? Doesn't make sense. So I had to change plans. Beginning in December 2020, I started mining in the Ethereum mining pool, thus getting paid directly in Ethereum. Kicked on the rig and started making some freaking money. So during December of 2020, I mined about 0 0.005 Ethereum per day. This means 20 flipping euros per day. Unfortunately, I live in Germany and electricity costs are mega high, which puts me at a daily profit of about 14 bucks if everything stays the same, which it didn't because Ethereum went down in price, reducing my daily profit to only six euros. During this time, your boy went to Egypt. And despite being down in daily profit, these were the glorious days of my mining adventure. Your boy is in Egypt, snorkeling through the beautiful Red Sea, getting freaking attacked by this big ass fish. 35 degrees, while back at home in snowy Germany, the mining rig is chugging along, making money, while heating my shared apartment with 100% renewable energy. Pretty epic, gotta say. But one day, as I was doing my 2 p.m. posing routine to honor this, we're gonna make it for us. It hit me. It doesn't really make sense to mine Ethereum, sell Ethereum, get Euro and then buy Bitcoin, losing all that money on fees. So I went back to the way I previously mined, where I get paid directly in Bitcoin. And I was totally ready to begin my life as a pensioner. But this ain't what happened. Because in May there was absolute carnage. Terra Luna going down from 86 bucks to pretty much nothing. Oof, big F to all the poor crypto bros getting wrecked in this coin. Cryptocurrency is collapsing left and right. And even I, a Bitcoiner, who stays away from all this kind of sketchy cryptocurrency dumb stuff, had my portfolio completely <laughs> wrecked. Bagbot, stinker. We müssen ein bisschen Fischfutter reduzieren, huh? Harte Zeiten, Habibi. <laughs> the crash memes started popping up and the Ethereum price went down massively. I kept mining during this time, but the electricity costs were higher than the money I received from mining. Actively burning money. So I decided to sell my rig and end this little adventure. I'm unstoppable. I'm a Porsche with no brakes. So I sold the entire rig for 2630 bucks, which is a massive loss. <gasps> because graphic cards prices had been falling equally and used the proceeds to buy Bitcoin via my two favorite ways. So if we run the numbers, it basically comes down to me paying over six grand to acquire 0.1729 Bitcoin. 
at the time of recording this video right now, it was a massive loss. So was all of this a massive failure? Well, yes. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. But could have been worse. If we do the Doctor Strange and compare a couple different timelines, we can see it wasn't the worst possible outcome. So I suppose not a complete failure. Next video, I'm gonna build a cheap entry-level civilian combat drone. It's gonna be less talking and more... Smash subscribe. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Helps me become a multi-trillionaire. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I don't care about your crypto, boy.